So let's talk about the actual body of the email. You want to start by talking about you. And by you, I don't actually mean you, I mean the reader. Use the word you a lot. Reference that person, draw them in, mention something that they did that you really admire. Flattery usually works. But really just talk about them for the first sentence. This is a good way to draw them in because most people inherently want to hear about themselves. Next, you can consider referencing a mutual acquaintance if you have one. This is just a really easy way to make them feel at ease and increase your legitimacy. The third is cover only one topic. This is really important for business development, especially if you're contacting somebody very important who has a lot going on in their life. If you ask for multiple things or you cover more than one topic, usually they'll disregard the email. The fourth is make sure that what you write is easy to digest. Use bullet points, lists, whatever you can to just make it, you know, bam, bam, bam. This is what I want. This is how we do it. That's it. Bullet points and lists are a great way to do that. The fifth is just spell check twice. Ask someone to read it over. If it's very important, make sure to run a grammar check. There's a lot of free spell checkers. Obviously, you can use Word or online if you want to search for those as well. The sixth is be careful with sarcasm, irony, and humor. If you don't know this person very well, that can be a little bit risky or come off not the way you want because it's written rather than delivered in person. The seventh thing is what I like to call the PS trick. Add a little PS at the end of the email. You can add whatever you want in there, just a little note or something interesting you'd like to say to them. Usually people's eyes skip down to the PS and they're more likely to read that than the actual body of the email. So if you follow these seven different tricks, you're more likely to get a good response from your business-to-business -business email.